There it is, one minute left. What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. So the 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro has got me super excited about my filmmaking. So I wanna really know, how fast is it really? Well, let's find out. All right, so as you know, I like to do real world tests and um, you know, I'll, I'll be working with my previous laptop, which was a 15 inch 2016 uh, MacBook Pro, which had four gigabytes of video RAM, 16 gigabytes of um, RAM and a one terabyte hard drive. And I had four terabytes um, of an SSD drive, generic SSD drive attached to my uh, laptop. And I was working on that on DaVinci Resolve. Now, I've been rendering out my feature film Agent 2, which is coming out in the summer of 2020. And um, so I'm going to report in first, I think, on uh, how long it took to do an HD render. And uh, in DaVinci Resolve, um, you know, attaching the full timeline, which was an embedded timeline, I was able to get a time of an hour and 13 minutes approximately. Um, so that was i want to mention was connected to a black magic eGPU pro so i wanted to see how fast it was going to go um, but the eGPU has helped me in reducing render times which has been fantastic so again that was done in hd now um so uh obviously i want to replicate that test and i have the maxed out um 64 gigabytes of ram um, the top i9 processor i have the 8 gigabyte video card and the 8 terabyte um hard drive all internal into the MacBook Pro. And so I ran the HD uh, test um, of 80 minutes. And actually, you know, I do want to mention that it was, it was slightly longer because we just finished the opening credits. And it was connected to the Blackmagic eGPU Pro. But I have to tell you that the render time was a blazing fast 26 minutes and 35 seconds. That is ridiculously fast with, um, you know, and so now you're wondering, okay, is the eGPU Pro having um, an effect on that? So running it with the eGPU Pro, um, it was 26 minutes and 35 seconds without the laptop took 31 minutes and 32 seconds. It's still more than twice as fast as my previous laptop, which is crazy, crazy fast. Um, so I am super excited about that. Now, bear in mind too, um, you know, the hard drive was, um, all my files were brought in internally. So I did all that in DaVinci Resolve and replaced the links and it was super easy. Um, so, uh, you know, you have to bear that in mind that when you're using external hard drives, there's going to be some bandwidth issues, but all in all, like adding it all up, that's like a huge, huge difference. Now, um, I wanted to I wanted to tell you about one more further test that I did. I rendered it out in 4K because ultimately we are going to render out in 4K. And again, that was with the eGPU Pro. And that time took one hour and one minute and 26 seconds. So I don't have the uh, an original time for a 4K file, but you can imagine that um, even rendering in 4K, which is like twice the resolution of the HD, it was still faster. <laughs> All right, so um, I just wanted to share with you my excitement and uh, just the results of a real world workflow. Um, you know, uh, this is really gonna make a big difference in, um, you know, outputting files, which at crucial times, it really, really, really will make a difference when you need to, um, you know, support um, your sound team or your color team. Uh, getting those files to them quicker and easier is, um, is uh you know it's 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 definitely important in a crunch when you're um putting something on a deadline um so uh yeah if you have any more if you have any tests that you'd like me to do or um you're curious more about the macro pro so far i am loving the laptop and i think um you know it's well worth uh the dollar but i'll definitely continue um to see you know uh how much further i can push it um just just you know some some caveats that i am um, i'm not the stuff that I'm rendering, it's not fully composed. So I could probably do further tests when um, there's more coloring, um, you know, files or, or working with fusion or adding um, effects or, or, or titles or things like that. Um, I'm not rendering out any visual effects because we have a team out in uh, LA doing that. Um, and so they're just providing me, you know, ProRes files. But um, all in all, like the process um, is working and it's amazing to be working on a laptop and being so mobile um, and so powerful. 
um, it's it's definitely um, you know uh, a filmmaker's dream right now to be doing being able to doing this because you can imagine uh, the type of stuff that we had before. So um, definitely uh, please subscribe, uh, like this video if you are enjoying um, these you know these real world tests and just um, putting putting gadgets in action and then seeing how they perform in real life. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.